important very Blue ready, hut. Three star. Go, go. Right starting 24 in the old Monday. Ready? One, two, three. Focus. Hello there and welcome to an inside look at Southeastern football presented by the Southeastern Student Government Association and North Oaks Health System. I'm Alan Waddell and I'm joined here on the set with the head football coach of the Southeastern Lions, Tommy Condell. Coach, thanks for being here today. Good to be here. Over the next half hour, we'll take a look at the Lions' tough loss at home against the McNeese State Cowboys and look ahead to this weekend's match against the Texas State Bobcats here at Strawberry Stadium. A coach this past weekend, a tough one. You fall by 10 points to McNeese State. Uh, had a couple breaks go against you, uh, but it's a loss in the Southern Conference. Right, and we're, you know, obviously we're always going to continue to fight and we have to improve as a football team on all three phases. And I think in, in, in two out of three phases, we have improved. And we just got to get a little bit uh, our, of our mojo back on offense. Uh, we're breaking our rhythm timing up with uh, undo uh, some penalties uh, that are inflicted by ourselves. And we have to eliminate those. And, and we're in the process of doing so. Well, your defense played pretty well against a, a very high-powered Mini State offense. Talk about those guys on, on the defense side of football. Very pleased. I, you know, when you hold a, a top-ranked team such as McNeese, uh, on offense and limit them to the least amount of uh, points scored throughout the whole year, uh, you, your hat goes off to them. I thought that we swarmed to the football. We played with intensity and with a lot of emotion. Uh, we read our keys, and I thought Matt Webb and, and the defensive staff may came up with a great plan, and uh, they took away their strengths, and uh, they tried to maximize the things that, that we thought that they couldn't do as well. All right, coach, let's take our first break. When we come back, we'll take a look at the first half highlights against Big D State. <laughs> Welcome back to an inside look at Southeastern football presented by the Southeastern Student Government Association and North Oaks Health System. It's now the time to take a look at the first half highlights against the McNeese State Cowboys. Getting an opportunity to come out and uh, finally home and really excited about being home uh, at Strawberry Stadium. And we open up the game with a naked and being able to, Brian throws on time, great uh, coming back to the football by, by Corey Theodore. First and 10 and I know the excitement on the sidelines as well. We end up uh, rugby kicking. This is very important because they have an All-American uh, whitehead down there as a returner. This is, they did a great job not only punting the ball all night but the coverage, and that was very effective. Defensively, we come out very strong. We get a turnover, uh, and this is really important. Puts us, you know, talking about putting special teams, offense, and defense, putting them together, uh, and this is what we're doing. We get a great punt, all right? Defense gets that turnover, and now all of a sudden we come back, uh, we're running it, and Brian makes a great throw, and, and Andre Cryer really concentrates on that catch, and we get a touchdown going up 7-0. And I thought that was very important. Uh, with the high-powered offense that they had, we needed to maximize our possessions, and uh, we needed to get extra possessions, we felt. And that's why on the next, uh, from the special teams aspect, we try on a, a, a surprise onside with it, and we get, at, uh, we get another extra possession. And you can see the excitement that we have as coaches. Uh, I thought Patrick Garvin did an outstanding job, and you can see him there, very excited. Uh, but that happened all week previously, and you can see that. Um, offensively, we get a chance to take that over, and, and more importantly, uh, make sure that those guys stay on the sideline. We end up not getting any points out of it, but we did uh, take some time off the clock. Defensively, you come back out, and, and the thing that we wanted to stress is make them go the long way, you know, and they had an outstanding tail back here, uh, very strong at the point of attack, and we had to get him stopped in the backfield and make him restart. I thought that was uh, very important, and uh, a lot of times what they did, obviously, was uh, use him as an advantage off a of play fake or anything like that and trying to get uh, their explosive player the ball. Come down here on third down, uh, and we, uh, they come out incomplete. Afterwards, we do get a penalty and uh, ends up giving them a, a, uh, a first down on it afterwards off of that. With that hit, they felt that it, that it was above the head, and they called a penalty on us, and then they transferred that into points on seven. Those are the things that we have to negate. 
uh, and that's going to be the important thing of, of growth of this Southeastern football team. Uh, we come back, and, you know, Cowboys are a top-ranked defense, and they do a good job squeezing us down. Uh, the option, that was one of the key things that we needed to do. Uh, on this drive, you can see that we had a couple missed tackles. Uh, the run in the zone option, uh, but we do a, a good job tr finally uh, knocking him down with, uh, with Reynolds. And, and he's, Brian did a great job also on special teams that you'll see later. We're swarming to the ball with our jumbo package, which was very important for us to make him go the distance. <clears throat> and make them earn everything they got one play at a time. Here they go up, and they, get, and they go ahead and go 14-7 to seven on us. Our special teams, once again, we wanted to give us a chance uh, to get over and get some field position. Marquise is a natural returner, and he does a great job right here putting us back into position uh, and at the 30-yard line to setting up scores. And I thought that was very, very important. And that's with everybody. And you can see the excitement and the emotion that we're playing with. Uh, right, you know, in the process, uh, we had a personal foul, double personal foul call on McNeese, knocking our quarterback down, our chief, and obviously the emotion that comes along with that. Here's the screens, and I thought we did a really good job of reading our keys and, and, and making them retrace their, uh, their steps. And again, we're going three and out. Here they bring the free safety blitz and... Uh, Number 55, actually a very good football player, squeezes, squeezes through and, and gets an opportunity uh, to make it third down and long. And it's very difficult to call those plays when we're all on third and long. We put, the, put ourselves in those situations. Defensively, we come out here and run that smack blitz, zone blitz, coming down trying to put pressure, making the quarterback go to his third and second, or fourth progression. And if we can do that and keep him contained in the pocket, which we do there, here we come back, and this is third down, third down and 15. When you get third and 15, you're going to put pressure on the quarterback because everybody in the stands knows what we're trying to do, and it's going to have to be in a passing situation. We don't get much of a first down, and all of a sudden, now we're forced to punt in our own back end, and, and after a, a decent return, they're already in a, in, a, in a position to give them a chance to score. Going up 21 to, to 7, you know, we had to be able to stay calm, Make sure we execute. Here we're running just a read play, trying to get something going up the field. To get some first downs because of the penalties that, that we, we've, we've given ourselves. Here, uh, another great turnover by uh, Tony Johnson. You know, we ended up getting two turnovers in that game, only giving one away, so we're plus one, which we needed to be, and also the, the ability to get that. That, that, that was huge. Uh, we come here on third down. Uh, and, and we have a missed assignment uh, up front, and we don't block the person that we need to block, and all of a sudden we have to punt it away. And those are the things that we can control. And we end up going in, uh, stopping them, they get a punt, and right at the end of the half, and unfortunately we're, 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 we're trying to get everyone away, and all of a sudden it touches one of our, uh, one of ours, and you can't advance a muffed football, and this is critical right here. You can see the push that we're getting up front, and then, uh, you know, Brian Reynolds gets, gets the block. That is huge. Going down only, it's saying the 21-7, and you can see, you know, we're going to run in at halftime uh, and be focused. And we're talking about the uh, making sure that we clean up the things that we need to clean up at halftime.